So every year we make goals for the following year with our collecting, with our channel, with our lives in general, right? I wanted to kind of take a look back at the goals I set for 2021 and see, did I meet those or did I fall short? Did I change any of them? Where did I stand on achieving the goals that I set for the past year? So we're going to start out with my collecting goals that I set for the year, starting with Incredible Hulk Annual 1, that king size annual, the big guy where he's holding up the Hulk header and he's got the fire behind him. And I wanted that in a CGC signature series, but I wanted a specific signature placement where Steranko signed out in front of his knee in that fire. I just think that's the most perfect signature placement for a comic book of any sort. I think that is the best placement on a comic book that I've ever seen. And I wanted it in like a 7075, but the book the book blew up way way high, way to my price range, but I was still able to get a 4.5 where I wanted the signature. It was a CGC signature series. So the grade was a little lower, but I got the book, so I'm going to count that as a check. Next up, this is a book that's actually been on my list the last couple of years, Batman 189 first appearance of the Silver Age Scarecrow, which to me, the Silver Age Scarecrow really brings in the Scarecrow that we all have come to know and love. So it's almost like the first appearance of the modern day Scarecrow, the one that I dig. Once again, this year fell short. So that one gets a big, ah, didn't pick that one up. It's going to go on the list for next year. Hopefully next year I'll pick it up. We'll see. The book's gotten way more expensive. I wish I'd have picked it up in 2019. I wish I'd have picked it up in 2020. I wish I'd have picked it up in 2021. We'll see how 2022 looks on that book, though. Next up was Submariner Issue 5, the first appearance of Tiger Shark. This is a book that I already had previously raw, and I sold it to try to make some money to grab that TMNT number one. So it went to a good cause. I did not pick that up this year, so that is another buzzer, another eh, did not grab that one. Maybe next year I'll grab it, but we're going we're gonna to see. We're going to see. The last one that I picked for my collecting goals, this was the one that I set as my unattainable goal. Because I try to set one unattainable goal, something that is just like, if I get it, fantastic. <laughs> That's outstanding. But if I don't get it, you know what? I really didn't think I was going to get it anyway. But, you know, we're just going to throw it on there for and giggles, you know what I mean? And that was Avengers issue number four. And did I get it? check i got that baby this year i couldn't believe it i couldn't believe it i still can't believe it sometimes that i own that book it has just blown out of proportion in price and luckily uh, i made a deal on that with josh over at hunts Hunt, huntsville's huntsville's haven comics of huntsville um before it really got out of hand and even though by the time i picked it up the book had skyrocketed he still honored that price he is a good man and i appreciate that uh and again that was the pickup of the year for me now let's jump into some other goals that i set um i set a goal of wanting to finish my volume one of teenage mutant ninja turtles the mirage studios run that is something i did indeed do uh, i even picked up a fourth uh, number four second print the video game cover which i really didn't even include that i just wanted to have one copy of each book so uh, i did complete that this year and i'm really really excited about that another goal i set was i wanted to get the rest of the mirage studios ultimate edition hardcovers picked up one and two last year and i wanted to finish picking those up this year unfortunately that one gets another buzzer and i didn't get those this year so uh, i kind of fell short on those i didn't pick up any but finishing the the individual issues to complete the run that that was still really cool so even though i didn't get the hard covers i got all the issues uh individual floppies so i'm i'm really jacked about that now the next one was a personal goal i set for myself uh something that i've been wanting to do because i just felt like my collecting had kind of gotten out of hand and and almost lost purpose uh almost so i decided i wanted to reduce my collection down to things uh, that I really, really cared about, things that I, I, you know, was going to love forever, things that weren't going to be just a fad that I got into, picked up all these, put them in a box, and yeah, I got them, and never look at them again, because I got to where I was doing that a lot. Did I do that? Absolutely, I did. Uh, thanks to the guys over at Whatnot reaching out to us and asking us if we wanted to be a part of that uh, I was able to reduce my collection and give away a ton of great deals this year, starting just about everything at a dollar. And I was able to move 
everything in my collection that didn't really hold a place in my heart uh, is something very meaningful to me. And I use those funds uh, to put into my savings account to go towards buying a house at some point. I even used some of them to purchase some books in my collection this year that really did mean something. Uh, so, I, you know, I was able to give some great deals and put that money to good use with my personal life and my collecting life. So it worked out really well. Now we get to like the channel goals that I set. So my channel goals, I wanted to upgrade my equipment. I wanted to upgrade my lights, my camera, microphone, all that. Because Nick's got all this fancy doodad stuff going on. He looks great on camera. He sounds great. I mean, his videos aren't as good as mine, but they look way better. And I wanted to be on his level. Did I get there? Well, as you can see, this video quality right now is kind of shot because... Uh, I work construction, and I, I broke the back glass covering my camera, and then, like, not too long ago, somehow I scuffed the lens itself, so now you're getting, like, this kind of blurry look to me, so that looks really bad, and that's bothering me, but, however, I do sound fantastic. Do I not sound absolutely magnificent right now? I mean, you can you can hear the tone in my voice changing every time I do it and it's just because I upgraded my microphone and I got a really good microphone so I was really proud of that this year uh, this year coming up I'm going to purchase a camera like Nick's I'm probably going to buy Nick's camera from him so he can upgrade to something crazier uh, and I am going to upgrade my lights I've already okayed that with the wife so that is happening uh, next year but for this year we're going to give it like a half check because I got the microphone but we didn't upgrade the camera or the lights yet but it's coming I promise the next thing was I wanted to upgrade I wanted to redo my studio here because previously like this part of the room looked cool on camera, but if you looked outside of the frame at all, it was bad. <laughs> it was bad. The room wasn't even painted all the same color. I just painted the walls that were going to be on camera. I had that whack like siding behind me here, like that ridiculous looking wooden siding that gave off a horrible glare. I thought it looked so great, but honestly, it probably looked crap. It, I think it looked pretty bad going back and looking at it and like, well, what was I thinking? Uh, but this year, my wonderful, beautiful wife, she made it a goal as much as I did to take this studio and build it into something beautiful beautiful and we're going to do a room tour very soon i'm just waiting to get a new tv stand and then big tv to put in here and once we get that we're doing the room tour and you guys are going to see this beautiful studio my wife helped me build she was in here helping me paint helping me sand when we were having to sand down all of the sheetrock mud from the previous holes in the walls and stuff and you know she let me buy a new couch and put up artwork and you know it, 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 we put some money into this studio we made it a place where I can be in here working doing my thing and my wife and kid can come up here and they can hang out they have things to do they can be comfortable hanging out on the couch watching TV playing video games whatever it's it's not just a studio now where I can come in here and work and do my thing but we can hang out as a family and that was something that was just tremendously important to me when we got it done and uh I love you, baby. I cannot thank you enough. That was so awesome of you, and I don't know what else to say, but she is the best. She is the best. She allowed that to happen. Without her, I would not have been able to. So uh, wonderful, wonderful wife I have. You guys, if you don't have you one like that, you need to go find one. And finally, the last channel goal that I set. Man, this one is tough. This one is tough. We started the year out so strong, and then... I don't know what happened with YouTube and the algorithm and everything, but channels across the board just started going whoosh, all the no, all of our numbers, you know, subscriber counts, view counts, everything just started to take a dive across the board. And we're not the only ones. We've spoke to several bigger channels and they're seeing it as well. I set a goal of 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We are so close. We are like 120 away the way we started out last year, though, we were moving so fast and so hot. We were looking to hit 5,000 by July, and we were so sure of it. We even put up, like, you know, a reward. If we hit it by July, Nick and I, we were going to rent out a boxing ring arena, like, like, like a boxing gym, 
with a ring. We were going to rent it out, fly Justin Birch in, put the stripes on him, and Nick and I were going to we were going to throw hands. And we were Nick. We, it was serious. Like I started training hard. Nick started sweating bullets. The community was getting excited about. It. People were talking about it on channels we weren't even on at the time, and they were talking about it. It was getting real. And then something happened. I don't know. Maybe it was the YouTube shorts, but everything just went. Whoosh. And now we are still not there. We are still not there. But I'll tell you what. Even though we didn't hit that 5K this year. To all of you who have been watching us all year long, all of our new subscribers, all of our oldest subscribers, we appreciate every single one of you guys. And you know what? It's not really about the numbers. It's just, you know, you have to set goals to keep pushing you forward. But if we don't hit 5,000 subscribers, guess what? We still had a great year. We had a ball this year. We we had a freaking ball this year making content going to comic cons meeting some of you guys hanging out buying books showing the books off doing the things that are really important hitting those subscriber marks that's not really the most important thing but again it's just a goal you got to set you got to set goals in life things that you want to go after those brass rings that you got to work towards and we didn't hit that one but that's okay because next year we're definitely going to get there, and uh, we're doing a goals video. We may have already shown it. We may not have, but we're going to have new goals for subscriber counts next year. We're going to be working hard next year, putting out awesome content as often as we can, just like we did this past year. We're not going to stop this train. It's just going to keep on chugging, baby. So, guys, I just wanted to take you on a small trip down memory lane and look back on 2021 and see which goals I was able to obtain. I don't consider myself to be a failure because I didn't reach every one of those goals because I did reach a bunch of them. And I set new goals that I also reached that, that, that didn't even pop into my head at the time of setting my goals. Uh, I had a lot of success on my collecting this year. I had a lot of success in just being able to sit here and make great content for you guys. I hope it was great anyway. I mean, you guys tell me, but I, you know, it's just, it, it really is exciting and fun to be doing this, especially when Nick and I had never had any intentions of being in the place that we're at right now. I had a great time meeting a bunch of you guys this year at comic cons and hanging out. Uh, those of you who hang out at the comic shops with us, that's always a ball too. Even if I'm not buying anything, I'll still go to the shop on Wednesdays and hang out for a couple hours and just talk comics and talk shop with people because it's just so much fun to get around like-minded people and talk about the things that we love. So I still consider this year to be a great success, and we're going to give this whole year a big old check mark and say, yes, yes, we did it. We got through the year. We hit some goals. We have some goals to move to next year, and we have new brass rings to reach for, and I hope you guys make goals in your lives, not just for collecting, but in life in general, you have to have goals. Because without goals, you have nothing to look forward to. You have nothing to push forward to. And you can't stay standing still. You get stuck in that quicksand and you might not get out of there. So make your goals and do everything you can to reach out and achieve those guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please drop me a comment. Let me know what were your goals last year. Did you reach them? What are some of your goals this year? And what are you going to do to obtain those? Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. Make sure you're subscribed. And as always, guys, collect your way.